Hi guys and welcome to another Surface RT video and in this video I just want to look at a little bit of an improvement on the Surface RT in terms of the applications that are running. It's kind of an evolution of applications from uh, developers just getting the uh, Surface RT operating system for the first time, learning how to use it and then making improvements. Just to show you that even though the Surface RT is a new device and applications are still a little bit behind every other operating system, they are catching up. I'm going to just show you two very quick examples. The first one is Kindle. and uh, What the Kindle application now can do is, it's, very, it's a very simple thing, but it means a lot to me, and it may, means that this um, application is usable, is if we look at View, and if we just scroll down to the bottom here, uh, we have one column only, which has been switched off, which means now that the application uh, has two columns, which means that it's a very readable and enjoyable experience uh, reading wise and it just makes the application usable whereas before it was just one column in the middle and it looks absolutely terrible. There is still room for improvement however if I scroll from side to side there is no transition so it's a bit of a clunky uh, way of moving from page to page. You're never quite sure uh, when you move to the next page or not. Uh, you can tap the size as well and it does move but again it's just a little bit clunky and in terms of uh, navigation if I just go to another chapter you're going to see one or two loading screens which seems a bit inexplicable for a uh, tablet uh, so that's a Kindle. The other one I wanted to point out, which uh, got a lot of criticism when I did the uh, video the first time, was running Jetpack Joyride. Uh, now this has improved significantly in terms of its performance. Uh, loading still takes an absolute age, which again seems a bit daft. But in terms of the actual gameplay, when I was first playing the game, if you touched on a screen, which you have to do in this game, there was a tiny bit of uh, frame rate loss. He just dropped a frame rate, and it just felt a little bit, you know, awkward. Not very. You wouldn't expect it from a, a five hundred dollar or a four hundred pound tablet. So anyway, I'm going to play a game. Uh, you, again, you might not even notice this, but it runs absolutely perfectly now. Very smooth, very nice, and. Uh, even though the resolution isn't particularly good, we've still got to credit the uh, Surface RT screen which has uh, some nice vibrancy uh, to the colours and such. So that's just a very quick look at two applications. Not really much of a uh, deep investigation, but I just wanted to tell you that the Surface RT is improving in terms of its applications. The big question is, will the market as a whole have the patience to let the Surface uh, RT and the Pro and Windows 8 prove itself in the tablet market. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon in another Surface RT video.